I think is great about Chris and Travis is they're not just they're not just dreamers, they're also executors. So they know what they want and they know how to make it happen. And yes, maybe it it took a while to get there, but ultimately they never gave up and that I think is what drove none of us to mm -hmm. give up. I mean, at least I know I came on, I've been a part of it for two years. These guys have been a part of it for almost four. So it was for me like to just like I felt like I joined a family coming a part of it. Cassidy's character who is not as kind and, you know, kind, just a mean girl. Um, she's still, you know, one of the, I, I think all of our personalities kind of show through and even the sides of us that we don't want to be a part of, like, I, I think Pfeiffer, the character Pfeiffer, um, wanted to be in control and in real life, one of the, you know, deep down, sometimes I want to be in control. And so, and, and Ryan's character, I think, seemed to be the most true. <laughs> um, the which is so, which is so sad. But Whoa, let's keep no. in mind, it's it a great been, character. Let's keep in mind, it's been four years. So I started a while ago, and I may have matured. I think so. That a little bit. A little. Maybe, maybe got a bit may, more humble. Maybe the script was like thirty pages long, and scripts are usually like ninety to one hundred and twenty, and this is like thirty pages of just like you guys are in the auditorium and something happens, and you're like, oh, great. Are there mm -hmm. any lines? You yeah. don't even know if you're gonna live the next. Yeah, page that you shoot. You're like, what am I gonna say? And if there yeah. were any lines, they would wait until the day when we got there to give them to us so that we weren't overthinking or getting into our heads and thinking, mm -hmm. oh, well, a couple days from now, I've got this scene that I'm gonna have to yeah. work on. It was just, you're gonna stay in your moment for today, right now. I think the, the fear of the situation in the film that we were put in, naturally, to anybody, no matter how much you hated someone, when you are that alone and that scared and your life is at risk, I think you come together and put all differences aside. And so once we were all locked in there, you kind of have to come together. We have to help each other out because that's our only option. Mm -hmm. well, we I came think, together way before that. Yeah, also, I mean, we, I think we all, we had great chemistry right at anyway. the audition, right off the bat, and we came best friends, really. <laughs> And I think really that played quiet. out so much better in, in whenever we started working together because there was no hesitations doing anything with each other. Yeah. You know, we could just jump right into it, scream at each other, cry with each other, laugh with each other. It just came to us so naturally because we all got along so well. I think so much of it was was probably the enthusiasm that Chris and Travis held. Um, just their their vision and just what they brought to us every day and their hope. I think kept us going and made us believe so much more. This can be so much more than what we might think it might be. And it yeah. gave us like expectations to work towards, you yeah. know? Like yeah. you just didn't know what was gonna be next. You're like, maybe if I listen to him, something good will happen. Yeah. And look where we are now. It did.